Hey guys, it's me, Mewtwo is strong, and welcome to the final part of my Pokemon Mystery Dungeon, Explorers of Time walkthrough. In this part, we will be taking on the Marowak Dojo. Now, we can take on the Marowak Dojo very early in the game, of course, but I decided to hold it off until the final part, because that's what I did in my original Blue Rescue Team walkthrough, and I just decided to carry that over to my redos, even though I didn't take on this place in my original walkthrough. I don't know why, I must have got lazy. Whatever, let's head inside. But first... And of course there would be more character portraits, but I evolved my Pokemon so I don't get to see it. Oh, don't worry, you've already came out of there because in the last few parts, of course, we've already went into the final maze to get some legendaries. Although, yeah, so this does look kind of weird since we just unlocked it, but whatever. And I actually haven't done that yet. I'm actually going to go do that now before I actually take on any of the dojo. I said actually like three times. And so I don't create an awkward transition. I'll just do that right now. Oh, dang it. We can't go through. The okay, we're just going to do this. Alright, so let's start taking on some mazes now. I still have a recruit a Jirachi, but since I've failed over 20 times so far and I'm getting a bit bored, I've decided to save some of that disappointment for later on. Anyway, in the right side of the dojo we can take on 10 different mazes, and on the left side of course we have the final maze. In total this is about what half of what the Makuhita dojo had, and that's because each maze now has two types ex uh, instead of one. Except for the dragon, ghost, and grass mazes which still have one, and the grass maze looks really awkward just being sandwiched in between all these two type mazes, but ah, eh, oh well. And in order to compensate for this reduction, each maze is now five floors long instead of three, except for the fifth floor no longer, uh, except for the final floor, excuse me, no longer has bosses on it. And the final maze is now 40 floors instead of just the regular three that the non-type dungeons had. In addition to these mazes, we can't take in any items, but since we're level 81 now, that shouldn't really be a problem. And also, since I just mentioned that, I did increase the level of my Pokemon quite a bit in order to increase recruit rates. I was actually going to do that again, but mm, I think taking on these mazes as level 90 would have been a little bit overkill. Level 80 for an extremely low level Pokemon is definitely much more fair. Alright. Let's start by taking on the normal and flying... Oh, what? Normal fly? Okay. Normal and flying type maze. So you're always going to give us this message anyway. Alright, let's go! Okay, and ooh, a terrible cutaway. Anyway, and this is a small thing. Whenever we complete a maze, we get a nice little star to remind us of our accomplishments. Whatever, let's just take on the remaining mazes now. And yada yada yada, our items will be lost. We know this. Let's go.
Wow, I was actually on the fourth floor long enough for wind to start stirring. Ah. Oh well, let's continue. Rock and water. I love the wind! And that dungeon's, or excuse me, that maze's design actually reminded me of Blue and Red Rescue Team a bit. I like that. Alright, let's take on the ice and ground maze. Jeez, I can't go through one maze without having wind stirring once. Jeez. Yes, of course, we'll work harder. Let's take on the fighting and psychic type maze. Also, I apologize if the dojo music's getting a little old, but oh well, nothing I can do.
know I should be used to it by now, but seriously, the incredibly low accuracy in this game never fails to tick me off. Alright, so now that, yeah, excuse me, now that the two type mazes are done, let's start by taking on the final two one type mazes. Who knows how much more difficult they'll be. I doubt much. Alright, let's take on the final normal maze, the ghost maze. And yeah, yeah, treasure items, whatever.